All right, foods, metabolism, they go together like shoobity bop doo Well, they don't actually, but that, they can have an impact on your metabolism. We can to that. Exactly. You know How many times? We've after? got to introduce. Hello, Rose. Rose Reitzman is How back. Are you guys? She's going to rev up our metabolism. Yes. yes okay. Let's so do after it. 35, how many times have you heard people say, "Oh, you know what? I've gained weight because I have a slow metabolism." Yes. Yep. It's true. Hormones, aging, lack of sleep, lack of exercise, yo-yo dieting, it all does that. But there are foods that you can eat to increase your metabolism, and foods that are not good for your metabolism. Okay. All right, so let's, let's start. So first of all, proteins. I'll tell you, lean proteins. So we're talking about chicken, fish, eggs, milk. These foods, believe it or not, are harder to digest. So guess what that means? Your body works harder to burn them up. Got so it. it burns more calories. So the foods that are harder to digest, and again, we're talking about lean, will burn more calories. In terms of vegetarian protein, nuts, seeds, beans, fiber. What does fiber do? Fill you up, appetite suppressant, and also excellent for gut health. So you mm -hmm. know when you talk about the gut health, mm -hmm. the probiotics, that increases your metabolism. Okay, so eat all, all right. those things. And with the milk, 2% skim doesn't... 2% so, uh, is fine, 2%, okay. 1 is good. All right, we all know about ancient grains and whole grains. Yes. This is the foods you have to eat. One again, fiber, fiber, fiber. Fiber fills you up, and at first, if you get bloated, give it a week. It will pass. It fills you up a lot of great vitamins, but also acts as a suppressant. Okay, so very, very good. So Make brown sure rice you do over that. white rice, you Ab want the husk? Absolutely, because it takes longer to digest, working harder. Mm -hmm. So now, coconut oil. So, you know, we've had a lot of back and forth. This was a yeah. magic bullet a few years ago. Now, got I. A, bad rap, yeah, right? a little bit, because it's still a fat, but here's what you do a couple tablespoons a day, maybe, you know, when you're sauteing for a soup, a smoothie in your coffee. I put two teaspoons in my coffee in the really? morning. Yes, I do. Really? And why? Because this absorbs and converts fat to energy. Okay. And that's because of something called the medium chain triglycerides, better than the other oils. Okay. So, but keep it to a minimum. Okay, mm -hmm. don't start like eating a half a cup of it or but cooking speaking with of it. Coffee, cheers. coffee, coffee, yeah, cheers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Have your morning cheers. joe. Cheers. All right, that. and three cups a day, and we're talking about caffeine, not decaffeinated. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna love me for that one. Yeah, yeah. but that's right. a cup, though, right? Okay, that's a cup. Yeah, <laughs> she's saying three cups a day. Three though. I know you're not, talking yeah, about the big jumbos, right? Right, right, gotcha. So. Coffee, tea, these things give you energy. What does energy do? You're burning calories more, all right? Also, tea, green tea, oolong, has something, a compound called catechin, which helps to rev up your metabolism. Okay, you have the okay? water. Okay, I've got the water. So water's good. Again, a lot of theories. Today they're saying ice cold water. They used to say warm water with lemon. Ice cold water because your body has to work hard to warm it up. Again, burning more calories. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So do what you want there. Okay. All right. So foods for the thyroid. Remember when we say we have an underactive thyroid, mm -hmm. we're gaining mm -hmm. weight. Uh, you know, people might be on meds. But if you're not sure about that, you want to eat foods high in iron, zinc, and selenium. So iron, iodized salt. You were saying, Roger, you love seaweed, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like it. I like it. I eat some on its own. I know. It's, like, I know. Oh. it's rough. They got it's those rough. great packs now that, yeah. oh my God, they're delicious. The Kids love ones? them. Yeah. yeah. Meat, okay, again, lean meat if you can. In terms of zinc, shrimp, chickpeas, pumpkin seeds, in terms of selenium, cottage cheese, these foods are really, really good for you because they end up, again, Helping your thyroid function properly, yeah. which burns calories. I okay, hot sauce. Hot. Spice it we up. love Grab the hot sauce. Heat. Me too. The smaller the chili pepper, the stronger it is, the better it is. Why? There's a compound called capsaicin, capsaicin yep. and what it does, it alerts your body of the heat source. What happens in your body? You have to cool it down. It's mm -hmm. like a fire going on burns more calories. So again, tablespoon into a soup, a stir fry is fantastic. Even chili flakes, right? Yeah. Fantastic. And it also helps with anti-inflammatory, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, he knows his stuff. Very yeah, good. I, I All right. Knees, there you go. Yeah, you know. All right. So what do I have to tell you? Refined foods, okay? Pizza, white rice, white bread, white. These foods are easy to digest. You know, it's like you eat Chinese food, you burp, and you're hungry again, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when that happens, you're not burning the energy. So remember, we talked about the foods harder to digest. Mm -hmm. These are too easy to digest. Okay. And fried foods, interesting, even though all fast food restaurants today are using good oils, when the oil is used over and over and over again, which it is, it can turn into a bad fat, like right. a trans okay. fat. Right. Not good. That slows your metabolism. Okay. All right, drinks. 
Vino wine. The vino. And the you, vino. You, we've talked about wine before. Oh, you know, glass a day my doctor, you have. Oh, yeah, right. A glass a day, you're right. One for women, two for men is fine. Can the glass be? Oh, How big is that? Right? Yeah, 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 like that. How long is the pour? Like, this so, is glass. Okay. <laughs> a glass. That oh is God, glass. A day. All right, so what's interesting is this decreases your fat burning activity by 75% when you drink a lot of wine. Why? Wow. There's chemicals in wine, and your liver is working hard to detoxify these wow. chemicals, not burning calories. Juices, rather eat your fruit than yes. drink it. Eat the fiber and the pulp. Yeah, because it raises your blood sugar, and mm -hmm. pop contains um, high fructose corn syrup. That right. slows your metabolism. Okay. And finally, yogurt. Yeah, what are it's we doing like here? It's like protein. You want a Greek yogurt, unsweetened. That's going to build muscle mass, good for gut health, helps burn calories. The sweet stuff with the fruit purees, psh, spikes your blood sugar, psh, and you psh, and, and it way, just add decreases. Add stuff to this. Add your oh my, berries, add your nuts, add, add your everything. Seeds, your nuts, your natural, flax. Absolutely. Natural and, like and, that. and I'll tell you just a personal story. I, you know, all my life genetically, I was always given bad like metabolism. It, when I started really doing this. I saw my weight fluctuated one or two pounds, not five to ten pounds. Interesting. It really works. Because as telling long as you. I've known you, which has been some 13 or yeah, something years, yeah, you've been yeah. the same and size. No, when I was about 20, 25 pounds heavier about 20 years ago, and I just kind of loved this stuff. I ate off yeah. my kids' plates. You know, it was easy. Sure. Anyway, rev it up, guys. Rev it up. All right, but rev it up from that end down there. From that end. RoseRiceman.com for more information. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, right now, upstairs to Tammy.